So first, as always, we're going Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is DeAndre Bernardo. Welcome back if I've seen you before and you're one of my followers, hey. And hello to my new people coming to see me. Today, we are going to be doing a great makeup for right now. I'm in New York currently and it is a heat wave. You can probably see it now. I feel the sweat coming on, so it's the perfect time to do this. It's gonna be very minimal, no foundation, perfect for the summer, and they're gonna be like, oh, is that sweat or glow? And then you could either tell them to guess or that it's both. So first, as always, we're gonna start with our base. Make sure you have a moisturizer with SPF. That's what mine is. We're gonna put that on. And I also have been using this rose water toner that I really like. I got it from Burlington, but it's surprisingly really good. I was like, is this gonna break me out or am I gonna be fine? But no, it works very well. You do need to shake it first. And I feel like my face always feels fresher longer when I have a toner. So if you're not using that, I would definitely, definitely recommend. So I like rubbing that in until it gets dry because for the most part I usually go like bacon eggs and ham on my moisturizer we love that but for a heat wave it's going to slip all off I tried to do a full face the other day I don't even know why it was like 92 but it said it felt like 103 for some reason I still wanted to do a cute little full face and halfway through my makeup it was just sliding off completely so you do want a more dry base and it won't look dry because as soon as you step outside you will start sweating so <laughs> it'll be all good and we're gonna go in with our moisturizer and my other step that i would do would be add a serum in between but we're not gonna do that to keep the face as dry as possible and before i put anything on i am gonna put on a light 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 layer of translucent powder just to kind of lock it in because yeah i am already starting to sweat it is so hot. so the main place on my face that i sweat is my nose so that's what i like go in really heavy for and i kind of leave it on there for a little bit but i just lightly dust the rest of my face pushing that in and it's kind of crazy to me that it is August already. Like, what did you guys even do for the summer? Like, I feel like it went by so quick. And even throughout the day when you wipe your face, I feel like that takes away the moisture. So just to help that, I don't know if this actually helps, but it makes me feel like I'm doing something a little extra. I like to set in the base with my setting spray. After the base is already set, I do still want to go in and cover up my under eye circles. So I'm going to go in with my color corrector, a very small amount. I barely stuck my finger in it. And then we're going to blend that out very good to thin and almost nothing. And throughout this, I find it a lot faster and easier to just use my fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. You guys can save cleaning the makeup brushes for this tutorial well some yeah i don't think that i use i don't know <laughs> i'll save that until the end <laughs> i won't make that claim because i might end up using a brush who knows we'll see how how i'm feeling whether where this journey freaking takes me but how are you guys doing honestly i'm chilling i just now uploaded that video last week but i literally I'm so bad for this. I literally edited it, edited it, recently edited it, and that's like the last thing that I had to do, but I actually recorded it a month ago, so nobody clock me if you see a like trimming my bangs video because I had to Denman brush and wet them so much because literally my bangs are like to here now, and I need to see, so. She's gonna get a cut zone. I then went in a color that's a little bit lighter than my skin to blend and make this like pink salmony color that makes an amazing base for your concealer. And I'm running out of everything. That's the only thing that's so annoying. Like, 
does anyone else like just buy their makeup all in bulk at once or are you one of those people who does it probably the better way that's like oh I'll get this once at a time so I don't have to like drop so much on all of this makeup at once because I'm out of everything at the same time I don't know I don't know maybe it's just me let me know <laughs> is that a common struggle I feel it because it always happens to me so <laughs> So we're gonna hit it in the normal places. Don't put a crazy amount, cause you will be wiping your face throughout the day. So the less the better, just a little bit. We're just gonna blend this out with your fingers really quickly because if you let it sit longer on your skin, the more opaque it is. And I usually do that when I want a more like full coverage, but this blends out very nicely. I'm also gonna have everything listed in the description box because i know i keep being like this concealer <laughs> this color is awesome this is what we're looking like when it's all blended out next i'm gonna go in with a powder contour i really like going extra on the contour because it's a powder so that will also absorb your sweat but also it's pretty awesome because it makes you look like you got a little tan even though i have been staying inside most of the summer it'll still give people the illusion that i'm stepping out and looking good i hug the cheekbones right here get the chin the jawline and then i just go in circles around the temple so there's no jagged edges for the nose i don't do a precise um contour i just kind of pinch the brush and then go in at this point like me you're probably sweating your face off so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face again with powder this time and it's also going to clean up if you went a little crazy on the contour this is your chance to blend that all in so that's what I'm going to do now <laughs> oh, casually I need to buy a huge church fan honestly and take that with me everywhere that would be a moment I get all those places again carefully on the nose this time you don't want to take away all of the contour that you just put we're just gonna throw on some eyebrows what i always do first is i'm going to spoolie up just brush all these hairs i'm letting them grow kind of crazy because they have never been this thick and i'm trying to shape them into like some thick amazing like Zendaya level brow. So I've been putting on some oil. I don't know if it's actually working. I should probably take some progression picks, but that's my goal. Some thick Zendaya brows. And once it's all brushed, I just try to fill in like the empty spots because you don't want anything that feels too heavy on your face because you just start feeling uncomfortable. And this look is great for anything. I'm telling you, like brunch oh and you're running late me always i <laughs> i am so bad like my late is i'm leaving my house at the time that i'm supposed to be there and texting my friends like oh yeah 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 yeah. i'm like 10 minutes away knowing goodness or well i'm gonna show up 30 minutes late like what's up ready for the time but oh my gosh keep the faces <laughs> i'm gonna be real with you this still does sweat but since i don't actually have any like makeup like around here except for a little bit of concealer i'm fine with it that's why you want to go very 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 light with this so back to the eyebrows this is like a maybelline tattoo studio and i thought that it would be really cool because of like these things like i was like oh we'll make it look so brush like but i don't know maybe i just don't have the flick of the wrist like to work with this specific product because my eyebrows be looking they look questionable but <laughs> 
So if you can recommend another eyebrow product, because I'm always looking for another one. Usually I just use the micro pencils and they work amazing. So I don't know. I just, I try to be different and, um, but honestly, it's not too bad. It's just like, it's, it's a little tricky to work with. <laughs> It ends up crazy like this, so then I go back and I brush it out to try to make it look normal. And these are my brows, so they end up looking natural, lightly filled in, a little, we'll call it the messy look, okay? Okay, okay, if you see me in public, mind your business. I'm in the process of looking for another eyebrow pencil, okay? <laughs> so next we can just brush all that excess away. Sweat that's trying to chill in your face, not today. We're almost done, folks. You can literally do this. I'm taking a little longer because I'm talking to you guys, but if it was just me doing this straight, it would take five to 10 minutes and then you would be in and out, which is amazing. Because I know you have to shower so much during the summer. Like you go to the beach, you have to shower. You wake up because you were so sweaty, so you had to shower. You sweaty again, so like, just so many showers. So I literally only put mascara on the top. If you put them on the bottom, they're gone. Like, that's like you asking for raccoon eyes. Like, this little piece of hair is not, as soon as it starts sweating underneath your eyes, it's immediately gonna rub off. So do not, do not waste your time. Just do the top and keep it pushing. do like my mascara with two or three layers like the next person to really make them like but one layer is all we're gonna do today because I do not want like a mess getting all over my face and around my eyes and possibly getting right here and then accentuating my dark circles instead of covering them up so one layer it is next we're going to hit up that blush blush is going to be your best friend especially if your face turns very very red during the heat I love this little trick now for a second I thought I lost my blush and I was like well <laughs> lost the blush just go in circles like this on the apples of my cheek it's not at all like modern day blush where we go up and sculpted this technique actually makes your cheeks look fuller and I just like the way that it looks especially in the summertime next we're gonna put a little bit on the nose too because that already makes it look like you're hot so it makes your face look alive. So if you're actually rushing somewhere or you do suddenly get really hot, it won't look like a crazy difference in appearance because when everyone saw you, your face already had the cute blush on it. Ah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They'll never know. They'll never know. Unless they also watch this video, then they might know. <laughs> they might have a feeling. This is our last step. We're gonna take our highlight and our setting spray, and we're gonna go ahead and shake that setting spray. Spray it all over our face. While it's still wet, put on your highlight. This is the same as spraying your brush right before you put on your highlight, where it intensifies it and makes it shine. And then again, I feel like it gives the same illusion as the blush. Like if they already see you kind of shiny, they're gonna think that you're glowy, not sweaty and gross. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. Every time I think I look sweaty and gross, they're like, no, you're glowing. And I'm like, that's probably because the pounds of highlighter. All right, and then that is literally it. As you can see with the hair, with the earrings, you are ready to go. If this is too much makeup for you, you can literally just do the base. Moisturize your face, spray it, powder it, contour, blush, highlight, maybe fill in your eyebrows, and you're done. Put on these, boom. Who's gonna tell you anything? Come on, come on, we look good. We look great this summer. We are awesome this summer. We are awesome all the time, and we are looking good, okay? But anyway, 
I hope that you guys are doing great, whether you watch this morning, afternoon, or night. And yeah, I just hope you enjoyed spending time with me. Thanks for watching this video if you made it to the end. I was about to go wipe off my face, but in the spirit of this being a sweaty, hot summer makeup, this is the heat wave in New York and what it's doing to my face. The fans in the other room, so it's not making a loud noise. So this is just, my face is going through the elements. <laughs> but no, seriously, thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoy. If you did and want to see what I'm doing throughout the week, please give me a follow on Instagram at it's Deandra O underscore O. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.